Hello everyone, my name is Zishan Baik and uh, in this video I will demonstrate how to execute the SQL DML uh, commands uh, on, in Oracle ADF and uh, a simple use case I have uh, created here like to increase the salary of a, a department which is rare these days but uh, let's see uh, for example, I am going to increase the salary of department 100. So, this actually uh, method I've created in application module. You can see the salaries are this, and I am going to increase salary of department number 100 by 50%. Don't get shocked. Increase salary, and you can see the salary changes. If you press again, it will increase by 50% again. And uh, you can see, and you can roll back this or commit. So how I'm doing this? By the executing simple SQL command. And let's see how I did. Uh, I've created an application module and generated a class. You will go to double click, go to Java tab, click this and generate the application module class then I wrote a, I've written a method here called increase salary taking two parameters department ID and increment percent and this is the code to execute this PLSQL command actually uh, this is PLSQL block which is uh, updating the Employees table set salary equal to by percent. This actually the positional parameters in Java question marks. And here we are telling that the position one of parameter is increment percent because this is coming first. And the position second position is department ID. And one thing also I want to mention that statement if your data type is character so you select some other set string method or set null or this uh, different type of uh, different data type you will select so uh, my method parameters are integer so I have used set integer then we are executing this command and closing the block and the next step is to expose this method method to client interface double click java this class interface you will press this pencil button and the method from available section you move to this selected area increase salary and uh, press ok then on your page what you have to do is just drag and drop the method from uh, this uh, this increase salary method is coming here let me add one more uh, accordion so I will explain how to drag and drop so just drag this and drop here as IDF parameter form will see parameters and OK and you will get this button one thing special I am doing here is that on this button I am executing a bad method and refreshing this table so I have set up a partial triggers a partial submit to true and on table I have set a partial triggers to that ID of the button uh, there you can see ID of a button and I'm executing the iterator in the bean if you see this is operational binding executing and this method a little method just refreshing the iterator in the background so when I execute this method it's also refresh the table so you see the updated values on the screen so I hope you like the video feel free to comment you can download the sample code from the blog. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.